Flats! Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to Flats. We're back here. At long last. It's Flats! Oh, gosh. Wait, is everything quiet? That sound, it can't be. It seems the ceremony for Princess Emile's coming of age celebration has already started. We just found out that Princess Emile is a fake! It doesn't necessarily mean that the Moon Dagger has already been passed on! Well, I mean, what does it matter if she's a fake? I mean, this coming of age ceremony is not really going to do anything, right? So, I don't know. Let's go. I think it sounds all sinister, like something really terrible is about to happen right now. How could they not tell that she wasn't real? That seems kind of bad to not know that. Like, hey, guess what? This is a person's a fake. I can't even tell... I can't even tell what my own daughter looks like, apparently. Why are there footsteps sounds, though? Or those fireworks? Maybe they're fireworks. Also, the guard's not even guarding the gate. What is he doing? Guard, where are you, dude? Oh, now he's here. Bad people coming in without permission. I mean, you weren't even standing at the gate. What was I supposed to do? Just kidding. I excuse you because today is such a happy day. When did it start? A moment ago, but just kidding. Just asking doesn't mean you have an invitation. It's so packed you couldn't fit a penny in. Look. Oh, wow, look at how crowded it is. Holy crud, man. This is the most crowded I've ever seen it. It's only got a lot of hanger-ons. There are so many new faces that I have never seen before. And according to rumor, there used to be bandits. See, bad to right. They cannot call themselves knights, but nobody can say anything because it's Princess Emil. Oh, don't tell anybody about this, and I'll let you in. Okay. Well, as long as you let me in, that's all good, I suppose, right? We should save the game right now, because I think I forgot to save this a little bit ago, before starting this episode. It would be nice if I did save, but I forgot, because, you know, sometimes you just forget to do things. It happens. It's okay, Kongo, get out of here, dude. You're not supposed to be here. I mean, you are, but you're weird. It's kind of weird that he became a party member. I'm still kind of surprised about that, to be honest with you. It's all cool, though. Who the heck are you? They're busy with an important ceremony. Don't even think about bothering them. They are not decent knights. Can't you see our armor? We are the authentic great knights of Tiberoa. There's Princess Emil in there. Whoa, you can't go in there. It's not a place for commoners like you because it's the birthday of our princess. Do you really think you can get away with making a scene like that? It's special today. Are you gonna make an enemy of all of Tiberoa? Seems like bluffing is not working. Can you send a message to Princess Lisa? She's not here, and it's the birthday of her own sis. I guess she is keeping herself cooped up in her room. I'll be back, then I'm going to get past you. Oh yeah, are you sure about that? Well, I can go up here then? Sweet! I can't wait to see what's over here now! Oh... Who are you? You're under arrest! Take them out! Wait, now I'm over here? Well, where does this lead, though? Does this lead to the other... Oh, it leads to the other side, okay. All right, so now we really, really do have to do a stealth mission. Okay. All right. Don't mind me. I like stealth missions. Man, I said before, this is not a stealth game. But I guess in reality, it actually is a stealth game. Plot twist! All right, so where? what is my goal here, then? Where, where am I going? Am I, oh? Oh? But... You can't really do anything in here, though. She's meant to hide you. Who are you? Well, don't tell me that guy spotted me. Take them out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me out all you want. See if I care. 
Oh, so these rooms just aren't even really meant for anything, are they? Alright, coming up here. Haha, <laughs> you didn't see me, knight. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. I don't know what's on this floor. What the crud? There's more? What are they gonna do? Throw me out? If they catch me up here? That's gonna be terrible. Oh. How do I... I can't get past him, can I? Alright, throw me out. If you want to talk to Princess Emil, go to the Chamber of the Sun. I bet you cannot go in anyway. Really? They just turned me back? Why would you even... Why would you not just kick me out? Man, these knights do the greatest job ever. Do all these kingdoms hire the worst knights ever? Because, I mean, these guys are literally bandit knights, so... Apparently, they did hire the worst knights ever. Good stuff, kingdom. Good stuff. Always hiring the right people for the job. Who are you? Ooh, take them out. You can't just take me out, though. That's illegal. Oh, man. Who are you? Get out of here. Take them out. Oh, man. I wish it didn't take me out like that. So nothing in here? Alright, okay, I'm out of here. Well, I thought so. Absolutely nothing whatsoever, even though it looks like there would be something, but there isn't. Alright, can I go up the stairs and see what's up there? So, I'm gonna go see Princess Emil then? Is that what they just said? What about this knight though? Is he he's not gonna let me in? What reason would this guy let me in? Uh, hi? I cannot let those bandit-like guys contaminate Princess Lisa's room. Wait, didn't they say this was Princess Emil's room, though? The bandits? I swear they did. Alright, what's up, Princess Lisa? I have been waiting for you, everyone. I am ready. Please tell me the truth. Princess Emile attending the ceremony is a fake. A woman who is helping the bandits made the switch a half year ago. What I don't understand is how did they make that switch in the first place? Because they said ever since she bonked her head, she's been like that. So what, did they switch her out the second she bonked her head? And if so, how the credit did they do that? I'm kind of wondering about that a little bit. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I don't know anymore. The star of Princess Lisa has shown the truth. Oh, thank God. It is impossible for my sister Emile to have such an attitude. Now where is my true sister Emile? It seems she is confined somewhere in this castle. Confined? Somewhere in here? It was the last words of a dying man. We can trust him. Are you sure about that? Dying people do sometimes say lies. It all started out at the time of horseback ride a half year ago. By taking advantage of the confusion, the mysterious woman switched herself with Princess Emile and took over Tiburo with the cooperation of bandits. And yet somehow no one even noticed that it was a different person, which is crazy. It's an amazing plot. The finale was to be the coming of age ceremony when the Moon Dagger would be passed down. Princess Lisa, we have to find Princess Emile or we cannot stop the ceremony. We cannot stop it, no way! Is it possible to use astrology to find Princess Emil? Let, let me try. Where? Show me the where. Is that a dragon spirit? Dot dot dot. Well? Did you learn anything? All the stars are refusing to tell their story, as if a mist is covering the night sky. Then we just have to search every nook and cranny. Sweet! We're gonna do it the Miles Edgeworth way. That's the way I like to see it. Let me come with you. When I am with you, you may be able to avoid some trouble. Well, that would be a good idea. Do, 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 Alright, so we're gonna be good to go then? 
You're gonna cost my life. I'll protect Princess Lisa. Alright, so we ought to come through places now, right? Is that what we're trying to say? I'm ready. Come on, Lisa. Guide us through. I got stuck on an invisible wall. I can't believe it. What's up with them invisible walls anyway? This is not right. It's just not right at all. Okay, so guards, you're not gonna catch me now, right? Who are you? Wait, what? The Princess Lisa! Oh. Oops, Princess Lisa! You're supposed to be sick, Princess Lisa. You must stay and rest in your room. Otherwise, we'll be yelled at by Princess Emile. Hey, take them to their rooms. I'm still supposed to sneak by? Are you kidding me? Also, they didn't take us to the room. Oh, that's dumb. I mean, honestly, that is kind of dumb. When you think about it. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Thank you for not turning around. I appreciate that. Because you didn't turn around, that means we are good to go. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oops, Princess Lisa, are you already feeling better? Hey. Shall I go in? We cannot. Why is that? We were told that nobody, not even Princess Lisa, can come in until the Moon Dagger is passed on. Okay, then what about you? We were told that nobody not even What am I supposed to do then? Can I go in here? What would even be in here in the first place? Nothing, of course. So what am I supposed to go to the other side then and go up to that tower? That's stupid. What if I go in here? Oh. You cannot eat until it's ready. Sorry. Oh man, I wanted to eat though. I need so much food. It would have been delicious. Oh, gotcha. You thought you could catch me, but you're wrong. You failed to catch me for the last time. Alright, yep, yep. Just gonna run on by. Running on by. Did not spot me. You failed your duties once again. You are just terrible at your job, and that's why I'm gonna get away with it. Get away with the murder of Princess Emile! <laughs> oh, prepare yourself! If you want to talk to Princess Emile, go to the Chamber of the Sun! Oh, but Princess Elisa, how are you feeling? I feel much better. I have to go into my sister Emile's room. Can I come in? It's far away from the bottom of the tower! Screams won't be heard down there. Why don't we settle this here? No way! Dang it! I really didn't even want to fight. Shall we go? But the real sister Emile is in this castle. She must be somewhere in this room. She's been missing for six months, and you never went in that room the entire six months she's been missing? Hmm, I wonder. It is awful. Somebody looted the place. Yeah, okay. That makes this room even more suspicious. We might find something here to help us find Princess Emile. How is looting the room making more suspicious? Congo, go outside. Watch. Congo's too big for this room. I feel sorry for him. I'm gonna wait with Congo. I'm going too. There are too many people in this room. Okay then. Let's split up and search. Alright, so... We have to hurry up or that's okay as we roll, we lost. Well, that was bad. Hey, Rose, you're not really helping, it seems. At least Shanna's helping. I don't see Albert really doing a whole lot either. He's just kind of staying in one place. I feel something in this room. Oh yeah? What do you feel? I feel something's wrong. Okay, so they're not gonna say anything different. What a mess. There should be some trace in here. Oh, again, it's so it's something to do with the moon! The wars of the Emperor Duel! Now I might be able to be uh, to better understand it. the words find the girl by the time the moon that never sets waxes! Oh yeah? It's a complete mess. It seems somebody's been looting here, true. They've been looting and looting and looting and looting some more. Hmm. 
It's a pretty strong alcohol. Oh man, why would she be drinking that? She's only 20. There's a portrait of Princess Emile. I kind of figured it'd be the painting. Wow! What? What was that noise? There's nobody here. Well, that's not good. What? Where are we? Where are we? What on earth has happened? Thanks for asking the same question, Dart. It's music, though. And the sound effects, whatever this is. It seems a magical space was created in the painting. It seems peculiar. Is this magic? Indeed. Uh, Dart, where are you? <sighs> We're in the painting. Hashel, they must be talking about this. Don't touch the painting. It seems to be linked to the world over the here. I got it! Well, they're not gonna come along anyway? That's too bad. Look! Emil, sister Emil! It is too dangerous to go. Oh, she is Princess Emil. It is linked with a different dimension. It is too dangerous to jump over. I see. She's right in front of us. How can we? Uh, fly over the dragoon spirit? I mean, I don't know. That's what I would do. Oh, Emil, why don't you wake up? Is she not awake? Sister Emil. I was trying to talk to Albert. Okay, okay, whatever. Albert doesn't exist, it seems. Princess Emil, please wake up. We're so close to rescuing her. We have no time to waste, or the moon dagger will be handed over. Oh my god, and we can help her if we turn ourselves into dragoons! Oh sure, someone came with a brilliant idea. About time someone thought of it! Wait, what? Are you alright? It's hard to transform myself into a dragon unless it is during battle. Besides, this magic is rejecting the dragoons. Really now? What should we do? Hmm. Well, I was thinking about this. Look. I don't really know what that does for us. Oh, build a bridge. That's cool. Can we trust it? We can cross now. I don't even know we can even trust it. I like how Rose didn't cross. Princess Emile. Sister. Sister, Sister Emile, please wake up. I cannot wake her. Let me do it. Whoa, Albert, now. Don't get too hasty now. Princess Emil, wake up. Wake up at once or something irrevocable will happen to Tiberoa. Why would that wake her up? Ah, ah. Oh, Emil. <coughs> well, that's, that's wonderful. Lisa, and you, where am I? You've been sleeping for the past six months since we went for a horseback ride, sister. A half year. I was sleeping the half year since the horseback ride. What about the coming of age ceremony? Yes, what about the moon dagger? It is about to be passed over to another person. Can you explain that to me? About this other person and you? I'm a complete stranger who got in the castle to save the world, apparently. Seems I've troubled you for a lot due to my absence. Let us go to the Chamber of the Sun. We have to let people know the truth. I don't get it. So has she been hibernating for the last six months? Has anyone fed her or gave her any water? Anything at all? Kind of wondering about that a little bit. Nope, can't do anything with that. No stardust hiding in this area. Darn it, I really wanted to find some more stardust. Well, now what? If we cross with those guards, what are they going to do? They're not going to send us back, I would assume. They'll be like, Princess Emil, oh my gosh! I can't let you not pass, right? Who are you? P Princess Emil, why are you here? Thank you for your work. My coming of age ceremony is still being held in the chamber of the sun, isn't it? Y yes, your highness. Alright, we get to go. Sweet. <laughs> Got him. 
How graceful! There is no comparison with the fake one. Hey, there is no time for this! Our plan is not working! Anymore! We gotta run! Oh no, they realize the issue, and even these guys down here ran away. They're terrible people. They didn't realize how bad their plan has been foiled now. Alright, what's up, you? Oops, it's Princess Emil! Did I make it in time for the ceremony? Y yes! Oh gosh, I see how this is gonna go. We're gonna have to... The real one and the fake one are going to have some kind of fight. They're going to go in a, in a smoke cloud and we're going to have to tell which one's which or something, right? Probably exactly what's going to happen. I'm calling it now. Oh, just you wait. Shall we go? Sure, let's go. I can't wait to have this thing happen because it's totally going to happen, right? I forgot what voice I gave him. You've been filled with 20 years of experience since you came into this world. You have reached the age that deserves the succession of the Moon Dagger as an heir to the throne of Tiparoa. Never forget the blessings of the sun, moon, and stars. Anybody, Arthur? Any objections? OBJECTION! Oh, thanks, Miles Edgeworth. I assume this silence to be the approval of the succession. I SAID OBJECTION! Wait! OBJECTION! I have an objection to succession. Oh my god, there are two Emils! Double exclamation mark! The Moon Dagger! Oh, really? Did she just steal? Are you kidding me now? What is going on? King Zeor, that girl is a fake! I've been put into a sleep for the last half year. During that time, it seems this person was making a variety of social missteps. Father, the woman was going to take over Timroa, a former conspiracy with the Gayrich gang. Oh my god! Huh? I guess you found out about everything. Don't you think it's too late? I've got this in my hand. Look around yourself. You're surrounded. I mean, she's gonna jump off, obviously. You think I'm cornered, huh? I'm gonna jump off. Who are you? I guess I cannot run in this stuffy dress. This will be a treat. Let me show you my true self. An evil demon, probably. Wait, what? Double exclamation mark. Lennis? Surprise, huh? Wait. Oh, Miss Lennis. Okay, so it's still female. I thought it was a guy. I was like, holy crud. Surprise, huh? This is the true self of Miss Lennis. Princess Emile, please leave the room with the King and Princess Lisa. The Gay Rich Gang has fallen apart. Give us the Moon Dagger. The only chance you have is to give up. If you're in love, doesn't know the meaning of the words give up. In love? I have managed to get this for my love. I won't give this up so easily. I'm so sorry, but you don't have time to be in love anymore. Because you will die here. Interesting. Why don't you try? Well, I mean, we will try and we will succeed very, very easily, in fact. Prepare to die, Eggbear. It's not gonna be a good time for you, no siree. What the heck is on her back? Is that a jetpack? Oh, shoot! Oh? Oh? You hit everyone with that? Oh man, that's just not right, man. Okay, well then, uh, what what are you? You are I. What is, what is that element? That's water, right? I don't think I'm mistaken on that. I believe that is water. All right, so Dart, you're gonna use your form in that case. Huh. He ho hoi. Oh yeah, take some of that. You're gonna eat some damage today. Ah, oh, Rose, Rose, Rose. You're gonna eat some damage as well. Prepare your... I can't do it. The third one doesn't get timed properly. It doesn't make sense. Alright, Dart, your turn. Time to use your special powers for the first time since regaining your powers. 
Congratulations, Dart. You're back to being OP again. That's pretty freaking nice, I would say. Are you ready to get destroyed? Because that's what I'm going to do to you. The power of fire will annihilate you. The final burst is coming. This is going to do way too much damage. And I can do this twice. I can't wait to murder her. Yeah, scream. Scream, Dart. Scream loud and give him the power. Give her all that delicious, fiery power. Oh no! It's a final burst of powerfulness! Did you melt yet? 648! Holy crud! Well, that's like a new record for damage, I would have to say. Oh, you do that again? Okay. Okay. Be my guess. Be my guess. I don't mind. I'm gonna take less damage from that this time around. Yeah. You see that awesome defense? Wait, now what are you doing? This is different. What? Wait, you're just attacking twice in a row? That's all you're doing? Uh... Ooh, wow! Even in Dragoon... What the heck was that attack? That's a good question. And she's still in the blue, even after that final explosion. Oh, this has me feeling I should maybe use Rose Storm sooner rather than later. I think that might be a good idea, because that did a lot of damage. And if she does that again, I could end up having some people die despite their Dragoon forms. We don't want that. We'll just attack on the next turn. I think it looks better that way. Yeah, Albert, thank you so much for defense. Defense is OP, man. It's what we need to survive in this world. If you know what I mean. I can use Rose to heal. Alright, all is going according to plan, I would say. Alright, Rose, you got this. Ready? Use some Astral Drain. I mean, just spam that three times. That's all you really gotta do. I don't mind what else you do, just as long as you heal us all up, of course. Thank you for the Astral Drain. Yeah! Hey, you missed again. Rose, your aim is pretty bad sometimes, you know that? Sometimes you hit him, but sometimes you just miss, but yet you still get the effects out, which doesn't make sense. Isn't that cheating? How much damage? How much health? Show me the magic number, please! What do we got? Oh, wow! 69's across the board? Heck yeah! What you doing this time? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that was pathetic. Come on now. What, are you just gonna spam that every time you attack? Oh no. That's not right. Come on. At least we can reduce the damage though. That'll help us out. Oh no. Yay, it's a lot less damage this time. That's great. That would've been bad if it wasn't great. All right, have another final explosion. I'm sending you into the yellow or the red. I don't know what I'm sending you into, but I am sending you somewhere that is not blue anymore. I can see this boss is no joke. You gotta take it pretty seriously, otherwise you're gonna die. You don't want that to happen now, do you? No siree. Prepare to die! Oh! 600 something damage, here we go! Yeah! I mean, if we're really lucky, maybe she's dead. <laughs> You never know. Are you dead yet? Huh? No, you're just gonna jump at us. Oh no, wait, what? No. Ah! We didn't get a chance to attack again and heal. Come on! We haven't had a chance to heal up after that! Last one! This is too much. Please tell me we're gonna survive this. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no. Please don't die. I would really appreciate that. Okay, I mean, Rose is fine, but it's Albert I'm worried about. But he's fine, too. He's okay. Okay, she's in the yellow. I was really hoping that sent her in the red or something, but nope. Alright, fine. Prepare to die. 
Really? Well, at least it wasn't level one. Ah, dang it. I'm so bad at that. I was actually given a condition. If I put Miru in the party permanently, that I'd be told how to do that better. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to put Miru in the party. So um, I'm just going to go about never knowing how to perfect that on a regular basis, apparently. If I just get it, I'll get it. It'll be random. But it'll be cool, though. I don't mind random obtainings of epic power and proportions. That'd be really, really nice. Man, imagine if I didn't do that Rose Storm, though. We would have been dead. Or at least Albert would have been dead, I would think. Sheesh. I don't know what's up with that move. She started doing it the second we went in the Dragoon form. Is that supposed to be an effective against Dragoon's attack or something? So she just spams it all the time? Seems a little unnecessary, but oh well. It's okay, though. All right, well, Albert's back to normal, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a Healing Breeze right now. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want us to die. All right, healed, healed, and healed. Congratulations, now attack her and do a bunch of damage, please. I mean, I feel like this is really the best way to get a perfect attack off. Just do special, and you automatically get a perfect, just like that. I bet that was the secret. I don't know, 541, woo! Watch out, just watch out, is she done? Nah, she's probably not done yet, but she's close. Is she close? Or is she dead? No, she's close. Okay, you gotta do that again, yay! Back to that attack, I've missed that attack! Is Albert's thing still active? I'm not... Entirely sure. No, I think it is still active. That was still less damage. Oh, great. I hope it's only effective against Dragoons because otherwise they're going to do a lot of damage to us now. Please don't do too much damage. I really don't want to die right now. Please don't kill us. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Wait, you're just going to attack twice in a row? Rose will survive! But Albert, on the other hand... Oh no. Dart might survive. Rose probably will survive. Albert might be dead. Wait, this is different. Wait, what? Is it only talking... Taking on Dart? Oh, whoa. He's still alive, though. Hope is still alive, it seems. Astral Drain! Prepare to be drained again! I am so tired of you taking advantage of me. Don't do it. I'll kill you for this. I will destroy you once and for all. I'm so tired of this nonsense. Honestly, if anyone else is attacking after this, I should really consider... Oh, the bad thing is I should consider attacking, but I also should consider healing, too, because you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Dart's back in the yellow, though, it looks like. He's not limping. It's good. I don't want him limping. Dart, finish him off, please. Finish her off. Come on. Oh. Uh, this is scary. I'm going to attack, though. I'm going all in. Oh, 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 oh yeah, clutched it! 198, come on, be dead. Please be dead? You're not dead. How are you not dead yet? You're gonna be dead for this, though. Oh, yep. Yep. And yup! Are you dead now? How are you not dead yet? You've been in the red for like seven attacks now! That's less than 25% of your health! She's not going to do it anymore, is she? No, okay, because we're not in Dragoon form. I guess that's good. Still. Well, you know, that's not the first time it's happened, but that still kind of caught me off guard with how fast it came at me. I have still yet to do that attack successfully off screen or on screen. Just anywhere in general. I haven't done it. Oh, she just dies. 
Okay, so no final attack from Dar. That's good. Good job, Albert. You did it. 6,000 experience points. Nice. So that should be... Well, I mean, everyone should level up then, because everyone's getting 2,000 experience out of this. Alright, welcome to level 20, everyone. That's what I want to see. Level 20 is here at long last. Yes, indeed. And Shanna leveled up too. Not bad. Miru leveled up to 19. That's surprising. Hashel? Hashel, Hashel, Hashel. You let us down once again. <laughs> oh, could you? <coughs> Excuse me. You are not bad, I guess. Give us the Moon Dagger. Don't waste your time on this meaningless battle. Well, I mean, maybe she doesn't want to waste... Maybe they don't want to waste time, but... I want to waste time! So I'm in a cliffhanger right now. On the next exciting episode, we're going to see what the... The end of this little confrontation is going to bring to us. Will she run away? Will she surrender the Moon Dagger? Will something else happen? I don't know. We're going to find out in the next exciting episode, however, though, everyone. So let me know what you think about all this nonsense. The fake Emil is actually this person. I don't know how she managed to disguise herself so well. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. But maybe she'll explain how she disguised herself so well, too. Maybe it was magic. I have no idea. Is she working with Lloyd? Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Anyway, everyone, I'll see you next time. So have a nice day and goodbye. Hello, everyone. You've reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to our one and only Tier 4 channel member, Yan Philip. Thanks for being an awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shoutouts are available to all Tier 4 and 5 channel members. I hope you all have an awesome day, and I shall see you all later.